Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Market cap, 263 billion. Bitcoin's been trading sideways, currently at 6,800. Holding its ground. Um, it's very important because right now Bitcoin shorts are at their all-time high. Um, over the last 24 hours, they've just been piling on, piling on. Well, longer than that, but really hitting their all-time high recently. Um, let's go ahead. They updated the site. So it's all this new stuff. All right, look at the seven day price action. So I'm going to show you some things that are very strange that I've been um, monitoring. People have been bringing to my attention. So there's some really abnormal activity going on with Bitcoin. Uh, just really smells like price manipulation. That's what I believe. Um, you know, never, nothing's for certain, but I mean, come the fuck on. Look at these random drops and where they stop. They have an accumulation point where they want to accum accumulate and that's where they keep the price and they don't let it go below that price it, it's very strange what's going on right there, it's like as soon as it gets to a certain price they slam it down and then look just accumulating keeping it right here buy 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 without trying to so if you would do this i i know this because i've done this before when i've in my little mini world like these are huge whales doing this in the bitcoin world but you know doing it to smaller altcoins anytime i want to accumulate an altcoin i'll try to keep the price down right i'm not if if, if, if there's not a lot of volume and i want to get a lot of it i don't want to cause the price to moon right because then i'm going to pay more so over time i try to buy more slowly without causing the price to come up well these people are doing that compounding with cell walls right so it's like boom force the pressure down buy 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 how does that happen how does a drop that steep hit a fucking brick wall it just turns into an, a brick wall of just buying and it just spikes up right because somebody was like all right well let's just scoop up as much as we can right and it's like, oh the price is getting a little bit too high boom what the fuck why Everyone right here was, that I was reading was saying, oh, man, this could be the recovery. This, you know, Bitcoin's been trading sideways, which is good. Now it's breaking. If you go up to 78, boom, out of nowhere, just slam dunked. So, and now look, it's almost a straight line again, right? You got the random um, variations, but, and then look, it's coming. So it's just very, uh, it's just, it is what it is. Um, you have all these big players. It's r trying to suppress it, but there's two battles going on, right? Because you have rogue whales. You have people like Mark Novogratz. You have these big guys who are outside of it who have enough money to affect the system. Because this isn't like silver and gold. Bitcoin is different because silver and gold is easier to suppress because you can have paper gold, paper silver. Every year, people like JP Morgan, um, all these big players, they get sued. They get fined, penalized, because they get caught cheating the system, um, saying they're selling gold that they don't have, yada, yada, yada. Very easy, right? Because you have to keep gold in a fucking vault. It's not on an online ledger. It's you, it's easy to say, oh, yeah, I got a lot more gold than, than – than, and if no one's coming and checking it. So that's one of the reasons because you don't have that with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's on the ledger. Right, so they have to they have to really have the media, they have to have regulation, they have to have, it, it's it's a whole big thing going on because people don't realize it's novel until it's not. Bitcoin is some novel thing until it's the world reserve currency. And if these people really have enough power, enough Bitcoin, that's what they want. Then they would want it to be the world reserve because then it can easier they can more control the world easier. But this is a worldwide game, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, over the counter trades happening all the time. It's very difficult to put a, a cap on it like you do silver and gold. They're really trying to corner a, a, a goose. You know, and this mongoose is real tricky. You can move, you know, going in between the legs. It's really, really difficult. So it's very interesting seeing what happened. Um, very important to listen to some of these people speak, like um, the ICE chief officer, um, Jeffrey Sprecher. I believe that's his last name. Well, he was speaking, right? And he was saying, look, people are getting more and more comfortable with technology. 
saying, you know, before you get in a state regulated certified taxi cab, you'd rather get into a stranger's car because it has three thumbs up on an app on your phone. How true is that? How many people pick Uber? How many people stay in a stranger's home? Airbnb over a hotel room that's been state certified. It has all the regulation. People don't trust the federal government anymore. People don't trust the feds. They don't trust the government. They don't trust any of it um, because think about it. You know, they're trusting a, a person named Satoshi. You don't even know who he is right over over the federal government. That's what his statements were. Very powerful and um, very eye opening. It's very true how we're coming through a culture. And he's saying, you know, it could easily happen with money. You know, it could easily happen with money. Very, very true. Um, I don't know. I just think that it's funny because I was dealing with, um, I'm, I'm, I've recently made one of the largest purchases of my life, getting some real estate and having to deal with banks. It's just, they, it's been two weeks. They lost one of my transactions. I, how the fuck do you lose a transaction? You're like, sir, your funds are safe. Don't be, and then they start being rude and start treating me like I'm some, like I'm doing something wrong. It's like, it's like, give me my money. Like, why is this? A, I, I, it's almost like they can stunt like that. Cause it's like, where the fuck else are you going to go, bitch? We're the banks. You need us. And that's what the kind of attitude they have. And I fucking hate it. I hate dealing with banks so much. You have no idea. I feel like I'm dealing with a the government. They just treat you like a little kid. And it's like, dude, I'm moving lots of money. I use this bank all the time. And now I don't know, it's just very, very, very annoying having to deal with banks. And it's like, dude, all of this is going to be a waste, a erased. By crypto, it's just, it's so obvious that there's just so much foam at the top, so much bullshit at the top that needs to be scraped because the system right now is just fucking stupid. Uh, what's going on with the, the market? Think of Bitcoin like a jet ski, right? And anytime it does like a hard turn and the water comes out, right? That's the altcoin splashing. So, you know, it'll do a hard right or a hard left and the altcoins will splash in one direction or the other. So when Bitcoin starts, especially when it starts trending sideways, it doesn't take much. When it's trending sideways, it goes down a little. You can see the alts drop by, you know, 5, 10, even 20%. When it trends just a little bit up, you can see these alts do the exact same thing. Alts are, they over dramatize uh, what Bitcoin is doing, right? That's what the, the trend has been. It can always change, but that's what the trend has been recently. So, you know, I just think that right now it's it's a big battle with the bitcoin shorts being as high as possible for the short term thing because like i said one or two big things can really make or break um the you know the future months even year all that's all temporary that's all sh short term that's fine a lot of people do care about that but also let's not you know everyone that's talking about long term we also got to think about the short term we need to get mass adoption i heard um coin cards i believe is getting it to where you use lightning network on amazon like lightning network needs to be adopted people need to be out there if you really you know really need to see this thing work because there's a lot of other cryptocurrencies that are accepted by a lot more people now so lightning network really needs to stretch its wings and see like is this is this the future or not the short term is very important time is very 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 important uh, you never know what's going to come out of left field. We're not. We're fighting a battle against a lot of different things here. Um, every day you're hearing of a, a, a new country with their central bank banning crypto and secretly behind their everyone's back, they're creating their own cryptocurrency. That's what happened. They're walling us off, like I said, and they're going to try to create their own crypto currency. And a lot of people don't care. They'll use whatever. They don't, I mean, the, the masses. I mean, they just don't care about centralization. That's the scary part. Um, just look, this is an example of the news that's going out, right? This is a, this is a news channel that I go to a news website that I go to. Just take a second to read. Bitcoin could plummet in a week, right under that, right under that is Bitcoin ready for another bull run right under that Bitcoin price could drop another 50%. And then a few things under Neo could become the ultimate Ethereum. And I'm sure right under that, they're going to say, is Neo going um, a bubble or something stupid? It's just, this is the news right now. You don't, no one knows what the fuck's going on. This is just everywhere. Everywhere is, is this a bull run? Is this a bubble? I mean, it's just headless chickens right now. Uh, so many people are so, so focused on making a headline and or the, the, so focused on the short term. You know, you have to have balance. You have to also look at the long term. That it's just, it's becoming ridiculous. Like anytime Bitcoin moves an inch, it's like, oh, it's a bubble. Oh my God, it's a bull run. People just need to relax, chill, breathe. Let's fucking get this adopted. You know, humans have, you know, go, be at your door with your favorite cryptocurrency, knock and say, hey, you need to accept this to your merchants. It's just so important. That's, that's how it's done. 
I mean, there's billions and billions of people out there. If one, if every person did that just a little bit each day, imagine how widely adopted this could become. So that's the most, you know, there's, there's always things that we can be doing, you know, fuck the banks, man. I'm so tired of them having a stranglehold over our society, over our species. We have the power to change that. We really do. It's just, we, we're like little nightly networks. If you think about it, we're little connections. We're little side chains. We can go out there and make a difference and make a connection, almost like a node. And now this person's using crypto that wasn't before. And then he keeps on spreading. And, you know, it's like, we can do that. And there's billions of us. So, we, you know, we make an impact. It really is. It's like voting. People who say, oh, well, my vote doesn't count. Well, if every person thinks that, then you lose. But if every person says, well, I'm going to vote no matter what, even if it's insignificant, just because if I don't have this mindset, then the next person probably doesn't. So I have to at least make the base for myself and then, you know, maybe others will too. So that's kind of how I feel. We should, we, we need to get out there. You know, one of the other things I'm reading is um, Mike Novogratz, big investor in EOS. He got, uh, he invested a mi millions of dollars in Ethereum when it was $1. I mean, the guy's just fucking as gangster as it gets. He's scooping up Goldman Sachs employees, Wall Street guys, left and right. He just scooped up another Goldman Sachs. He's creating this super army. People see where the future is. They see that the old way of doing things, the old middleman, there's so many middlemen out there in the Wall Street world. People hate that. Everyone does. I mean, this is why crypto is good because it incentivizes everyone. No one wants those fucking middlemen. They're leeches. They, they're the ones that make money just connecting dots when that's not needed anymore. We can do it peer to peer now. So it's um, very interesting to see what kind of army he's building. Mike Novogratz, just one of those guys that's really, you know, he's one of those super whales that can come in and just save the day. It's like, uh, uh, uh. Like, you know, it's it's hard to manipulate Bitcoin when it's a hot commodity of the future and you have a super whale that can come in at any moment. So you can see this frantic shit happening. But look at the graphs. Look at, keep an eye on the shorts. Um, if you're if you're worried about the short term, because that's where it is, right? The shorts are just like this big huff puff, you know, huff I'll puff I'll blow your house down, but it's not real, right? It's just people betting, but it can create panic in the markets. But some of these gangsters like no grass don't give a fuck. Like I don't care, you're, you know, your bitch ass shorts don't scare me. You're about to get wrecked, bears, and then he goes out there and ruins the day. So um, very, this is a pressure point. If you can imagine with Bitcoin. Two very heavy pieces of machine just pushing each other. Just It's a freaking war right now between two immovable objects. And that's what we're starting to see. And I think one of them's about to crack. And who knows? Could either break way down or way up. Because one of these people wants the price at 1K. And somebody else just wants to scoop up as much Bitcoin in 6,000 is about where it's fallen before all the wolves come in and start taking their pieces. Because what happens is if it gets too cheap, a super whale just come in. It's a dangerous game. I also, get on this, it's a dangerous game for the people who are suppressing the price because they have to dump Bitcoin to do that. If a super whale comes up and nom noms that, then they lost a lot of their selling pressure. And that's something that you don't have. Like in the gold and silver market, you can just say, hey, you know, print up a bunch of fake paper gold. If we get penalized, it doesn't matter because we're penalized <laughs> less than what we actually made. It's like it's like they pay tax to cheat and guarantee a win. They're like, ah, fuck it. We'll break the law, but we'll pay a big old fine and sweep it under the rug. Just like the banks, all this shit. Bernie Madoff, all these people got away for it for years. All this fraud and all they would do is write a check. And it's like, that's so fucking corrupt. And so, ah, it makes me sick to my stomach. But that's what's, but that's different with Bitcoin. And we're starting to see these crazy fucking, like, this is just pressure. You know, it's like anytime there's a crack, it's like, whoop. And then, whoop, it's a, uh, it's a war. We're going to see the, the bears and the. The bulls are going after it. They're all whales, super whales. It'd be cool if that was a fight, if they could dramatize it, like make it an actual fight. Um, so I'm going to kind of kill it here. Basically, you can think of what's happening right now. If you ever played Fortnite, you know the storm that comes around and it gets slowly closer and slowly closer. So whatever you're doing in life, that mediocrity, that that fear that everything that you don't like is always going to creep in it's always going to creep in and get real real small and you're either going to win that match because they're like matches right that's how life is you have almost like sections like phases right, as you grow you're either going to win that match you're going to die in the storm and have to start over and there's setbacks and all that and as this storm grows as this storm comes you just have to understand that things are going to happen 
you're going to feel shit. You're going to get caught in a storm. That shit's going to happen no matter what. Just know that tomorrow's the next a new day. You got another week, right? If you're thankful, if the sun keeps rising, if you don't get hit by a fucking bus, right? That's why you always wake up thankful. But you're going to have those. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how up you are. You're always going to get caught in a storm. You're always going to have some kind of thing that knocks on your door because no one's fucking perfect. And this world's like this motherfucking Bitcoin price. And if there's a, there's a hint of weakness... Those shorts are going to pile up on your ass and that big wolf's going to huff and puff and it's going to want to blow your life away. And you just got to stand strong. You got to Mike Nova Gretz that shit out. Right? You got to toughen out. You got to know where the weaknesses is and understand where it is so you can be prepared for it. It's just very, very important to understand that no matter what, there's going to be a cycle. Right? I've, I've made lots of dumb trades. I made lots of stupid moves, uh, all all kinds. A lot of my my moves turned in negative. I've never taken a loss, but I've held a lot of bags for a long time. I've held Sia coin for fuck six seven months before before even you know making a little bit of a profit. That's that's gonna happen, and that was with a large part of my bankroll at the time. Um, there, there's been times where I put seventy percent on a bad bet, but the thirty got me. That's the whole point of not quitting got to keep playing the game you got to keep grinding you can't worry about what's happening you can't worry about the bags you have now you got to keep making better decisions keep having what you have right now clear it go keep going don't fucking settle a lot of people are in the red right now and it, it makes it makes the storm come in right it makes it, it kind of amplifies all your weaknesses and the storm comes in and a lot of people are caught in and they just this is the time that we really need to, to really harden up as as a community if you really believe in the future of crypto if you really believe that banks are not the future how corrupt they are with how all these markets nothing is transparent if this is how you want to keep living you know get caught in a storm but if you really feel like hey man this is the future this is what i believe in this is the time fuck the storm get out there spread the message spread adoption I'm worrying about the fucking price keep aggressively getting every single day everything out of it you never fucking know right i was in the outhouse last year now i'm in the penthouse life can change on a fucking dime i didn't know that was going to happen nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow all you gotta do is be prepared for it be prepared for it kill it here cheers peace